kind of creepy, like how much I've had to stare at him or any particular politician, like a lot. <laughs> it's a little creepy when you think about it. My name is Hyla, and I make things using cameras. Sometimes for work, I get to talk to celebrities. <laughs> What's, What's good, up? buddy? What's up, son? And ever since the election, I've been doing my best to try and get out of the LA bubble and talk to people outside of my world. And the other day, I had this idea of just booking a flight and driving west. And that's about as far as I got with my plan when I touched down in Omaha, Nebraska. So it just landed. I don't know where I'm gonna be in the next, in three hours, I don't know where I'm gonna be. So I went online, asking if anyone knew someone rad that I could kick it with. And I waited. An hour later, I already had my first hang lined up. This is Jeff Katerba. He's a political cartoonist for the Omaha World Herald, and this guy has been pissing off liberals and conservatives since 1989. So this is it. As exciting as it gets. <laughs> Yeah, I start out with, you know, these little <laughs> little doodles and hopefully an idea comes to shape. I did this right after the uh, Republicans failed to pass the repeal and replace of, mm -hmm. of Obamacare. And this one I did early on, you know, the Flynn controversy and his connections to Russia and uh, using uh, Russian nesting dolls, Matryoshka dolls. I would love to see you do a Trump take on Trump. What's okay. kind of your approach? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, hair-based. <laughs> with Trump, actually, I started out with the eyebrows a little bit and I like to do something with his lips a little bit here. He's always making weird lip gestures. It's not until, you know, the hair is added that it really, to me, comes, comes alive as Trump. Unlike a lot of city centers, Omaha is politically diverse. You've got Republicans and Democrats that are split about 50-50, and it's independents that are making the biggest gain amongst registered voters. It's this literal center, geographically and politically, that has helped shape Jeff's centrist politics and his cartoons. I mean, I am drawing what I believe in my heart to be truth, capital T, and I'm not trying to play to a particular audience, and so, yes, I do upset people on either sides of the aisle uh, from time to time, or maybe frequently, but I like to think that I have a good heart, and even when I'm criticizing people, I hope I'm not coming off as mean-spirited or hateful. I'm poking fun, criticizing what they've said or done, pointing out the hypocrisy, and I do find more often than not that people here I can still have, generally have, except for the extremists, but I can generally have a reasonable, rational conversation with people from all political sides. And it's it's kind of like you're led to believe, maybe by the national media, that, that everybody, you know, the, the, two, the talking heads on either side, the red versus blue, right versus left, and they're shouting at each other. But when you get to talking to people, you find out that maybe we have more in common than you might think. Be crazy if I asked you to, to put me in here somewhere? Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, yeah, I like, uh, shoot, I wish I didn't have this bat here. I have big teeth. I also have crazy hair. You do have crazy hair. <laughs> for some Trump orange. Yeah. Give the people what they want, man. Play the hits. <laughs> Play the hits. <laughs> this is turning out pretty rad, man. Yeah. I'm pumped about All this. All right, good. There we go. You know I got to take this home, right? Oh yeah, that's yours. Yeah, of course. 
It's so good.